Guys, in this video, I will show you some very important shortcut keys of Microsoft 2013. First, I will show you uh, shortcuts of Alt key. Just listen carefully. If you not listen and hear carefully, you can get all this key in my web page. I have given a link in my video description. Okay, let's start. I will show you how it works. First, you learn how to use shortcut key in Alt. Okay, after the open Microsoft Word, everyone need to do page setup. And for page setup, people go here, click insert layout, and go this. But I don't like to do that. I want to use shortcut. Okay, <coughs> for page setup. Press Alt P F P. Your page setup will be appear. You can give whatever your page setup here as per your requirement. Okay. To insert a table, press Alt N T I. That's it. Okay. Remember one thing: whenever uh, two or three keys come with Alt, so you have to press Alt key for first key only, and remaining two keys you leave the alt key just press the shortcuts okay okay for insert a page number press alt n and u look this here you can page number top bottom left right to insert a symbol press alt i s here you can insert your symbols to go to border and shading press alt o b like this, you can, you can change your border and shading. Okay. To go for blitz and numbering, press Alt O N. Here, your blitz is come. Look that. Okay. To view page preview, press Alt F V. Here is your page view. Or if you can. Press Ctrl F2, your page will show like that. Okay. To open a formula, press Alt A O. Your formula will come here. The formula work in table only because we have to sum and calculate, multiply our product. It is use, uh, use there only. To put a header folder. Press Alt H, sorry Alt V H. Yeah, here is a header folder. Okay, this is your header folder. To open an object, press Alt I O. Here your object, you can insert your application as per your requirement. To open a paragraph setting, press Alt O P. Here you can set your paragraph. Okay. To open a word option, press Alt T O. Here the options you can change setting, proofing, saving language, advanced, customized. You can do everything here. Okay. Okay, if you want to insert the, the insert the graphic art or uh, insert the chart, just press Alt and M. Yeah, there is a clip art like a clip art is work like clip art. Okay. If you want to open cover page, press Alt and V. This is the cover page. You choose one. Okay. To open a chart, this is the biggest change in 2013 in MS Word. Uh, it includes the chart option very nicely. I really liked it. Let's see. Alt to open a chart. Press Alt and C. Look at that. You can draw your bar, line, pie, everything you can draw in Word 
only you don't need to go you don't you don't need to go excel in next video i will show you how to draw a chart line chart bar chart in ms word i will show you next video okay to sort a text or uh, if you want to alphabetically text or you want to serially like a b c d sort a text press alt a s this is you can sort your text here ascending order to descending order descending order to ascending order okay to insert a footnote press alt s f here is the footnote you can see there you can enter here okay after food knows if you want to open table of figure press alt s g here the table of figure you can take what you like okay if you want to want to make the table of contents press alt s t that is you can take tables here from okay this is the shortcut shortcut keys of alt key only in microsoft 2013 In next video, I will show you control shortcut keys, and later then I will show you shift shortcut keys, alt shift shortcut keys, control shift shortcut keys. Please like and subscribe to my next videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video helped you. Thank you very much.